Hey guys, Colin Warren here today, and today I'm doing another tutorial for the introduction to Music Production Coursera course. For those of you who don't know me, I am a 16-year-old DJ slash producer hailing from the small city of Seattle. Actually, it's not really small, but it's small in my terms. Uh, I go under the name of DJ Vu. I'm the alias of DJ Vu for when I'm producing and when I'm playing out live. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Now we'll get down to the actual, what I'm actually going to be talking about. And today's topic we will be covering is a topic commonly known as gating or noise gating. Now, for clarity's sake, I will be call, I'll try to call it noise gating because there is another type of gating uh, that I'm not sure what the exact definition of it is, but it pretty much involves taking an automated volume fader and applying it to like a pad or something like that to get a sort of a pseudo um, techno trancey sound. So you know the sandstorm where it's going the uh, have, if any of you heard uh, Darude sandstorm where it's going do 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 that stuff. That is a gate being applied to a pad. Or that's one way you can do it. I think that's the one way he did it actually I think there's even a preset in here that allows you to do that gate. But Anyways, that's one type of gating, and we will not be covering that today. The other type of gating we'll be covering, as I said, is noise gating. And what you would use noise gating for is to remove background sounds when you're like playing something like a guitar, for example, or maybe a piano. Maybe there's some air, like maybe your vent nearby you is acting up or something like that. Or maybe the electrical noise from the guitar is getting in the background. You would use a noise gate to remove that sound. And I will quickly show you in uh, FL Studio. Uh, this this concept is pretty generic all around, so there's other ways you can do it in, in uh, your other digital audio workspaces, such as uh, Logic or Reason. But I will be showing it in FL Studio because that's what I'm comfortable with. So, first you need a sound. And since I don't have a, uh, actual like a actual analog, um, instrument, I will just be using my MIDI keyboard to be playing in this electrical guitar sound. I don't think you guys can hear this, except maybe if it's feedbacking through my microphone, but you can see it down here so you get the generic idea. So anyways, you want to set it up, you want to link it, I'm not going to show you how you guys do that. Then you guys go to it, and you set up a fruity limiter. Don't worry about this, this was just for the tutorial. I'm turning, actually, I'll turn this off just to make sure that nobody gets confused here. So you set up a freely limiter. And when you open it, you'll see a whole variety of knobs and options and it's overwhelming at first. And I will admit it was overwhelming for me. It took me a month or two to get my head around. But if for our concepts of noise gating, you only have to worry about these three knobs, so that definitely limits what we have to worry about over here. So you first go to your noise gate. There will be three buttons. There will be, uh, I think that's gain, yeah, gain, threshold, and release. The first one you want to start usually messing with is your threshold. Now if you look up here, if you start turning it, you'll see uh, some numbers popping up. And the numbers you want to be concerned about are the ones that say DB next to it, because that is uh, determining where your uh, your mix is being chopped off. If you want to set up a noise gate, you turn down your gain all the way down. And then let's see. Yep, you set it all the way down. And then you have a noise gate set up. Now if you turn it up, what this gain does is it allows you to chop like a midsection of it. So if you want to ha allow some noise to get through on the bottom and some noise to get on or your regular instrument to get on the top, you would turn this gain up. But for noise gating, just turn it all the way down. And you want to set the threshold to about 20 dB or less because that's usually where noise comes in. Although if you need to turn it up more, do so. Feel free to do so. And that's and after doing these two things, then you have a noise gate. So if you start playing your instrument, it starts chopping all the sounds that once they go, once they hit that threshold of about 20 dB or so, it'll just start chopping it off altogether. Now what this now if you notice. Uh, some of it's getting chopped off a little too fast, it doesn't sound really natural. And that's where this release thing comes in. Uh, this release knob comes in. So if you turn the release knob all the way down, it chops it off instantly, and there's no fluent. It sounds too, you know, digital. Too bad. It doesn't sound uh, natural. So if you turn the release all the way up, it gives it more of a uh, 
flowing. Once it hits the threshold, it gives it more flowing uh, gain reduction or noise reduction. So you just mess around with that to get about the right right sound you want. And there you have it. That's your noise gate. And I think that's all I really need to explain about noise gate in today's tutorial. Of course, there's other plugins, as I said before, that will allow you to do more or less. You'll have to look into those specifically. And yeah, that's the tutorial, you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Colin Warren, and I thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.